Hello, welcome back. Uh, I think this is the 19th video uh, in the series. And uh, I was thinking, um, I don't think I totally adequately explained the whole map mapping function. And I wanted to spend a little bit more time making sure you really get it, because this is a powerful tool. And it really helps understand it. Uh, you really need to understand it. And uh, I was thinking it might be better to show it to you sort of graphically. And so what I'm going to do is, like I did in an earlier program, uh, earlier video, we're going to show it graphically, uh, crudely, uh, over here in the serial window. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is temporarily get rid of this stuff. Okay? And now I'm going to create an axis. I want a line. Now remember that uh, L293 can only handle up to uh, 255 from the pulse width, right? So it would be nice if we had a graph drawing with a line at 255. Well, that's not hard to do. We can do a four. Uh, let's make it an integer uh, i. Oops, i is equal to 255. Uh, to i is greater than zero. Um, i minus minus. Right? And now we can throw in some brackets. And what we want is we want to serial print, not on a new line, a dead space. And then after it does 255 dead spaces, we want it to print, for example, just that straight line. I'm going to make this look a little more legible here. Hold on one moment. Spend a moment getting in looking cleaner because we might end up copying and pasting some of this. Okay, so it should right now go out 255 spaces uh, and then without putting a new line and then at the very end of that print a line. Let's see if that works before we move on. Let's make it go faster than 500. Uh, okay, quick check. See if we're on the right track. Hopefully we're going to get a nice straight line going quickly down the display window. Okay. And wow, I think we probably do, but I think 255 is just way too big. Let's make that number smaller. Uh, let's, uh, hmm, I bet let's just divide everything by five and see if we can get it to fit on the window. Um, still acting. Oh my goodness gracious. Guys, why don't you stop me? We need to have the new line here. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. So now we got a line that designates the 255. Okay, we've drawn an axis. Let's now plot some data. Um, hmm, let's do this. Let's do another for loop. Uh, we can actually, you know what? What am I doing? I can copy and paste a lot of this. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to plot the mapped. So let's put in here, instead of this integer, Let's put in here, mapped. No? Yes, mapped. Okay. So now what it's going to do is going to take the value of mapped, which we collect up here, and it's going to, let's not put a line, let's put a, uh, some sort of symbol. How about a, uh, I don't know, a pound sign. Okay. So what we should see is on a new line now, every other line, it's going to count out the value for mapped, divided by five, put in that many spaces, and then put the pound sign. Hopefully it'll make sense when, you, when we look at it here real quick. Okay, let's see. Take a flashlight. All right. 
So now you can see relative to our 255 line right here, you can see that we can manipulate the mapped value. And if I bring it to total darkness, it goes right to 255. Okay, you guys can move this over for a moment. I'll make it smaller. Okay, so I'm putting my finger over the sensor and we're getting closer to that 255, but it never exceeds the 255. That's because we set the map function to a maximum of 255. All right, now let's plot the raw value. Um, let's see, to do that, I think all we need to do is copy and paste this again. And, um, okay, don't trick me. We don't want a new line. We want it on the same line. And what we want to do is we want to take the raw value and subtract it, uh, subtract the mapped value from it. So if I take value minus mapped, take that whole thing and divide it by five. So we've got our line, we've got our pound now at the value for mapped, and now we've got, it, we've got our value, the raw number, the biggest number, minus the VAP, mapped, and we're gonna put that many more dead spaces, and then let's put something other than a pound, we're gonna put on a star. Even if this code doesn't quite make sense, I'm hoping that the graph will. That's my real goal here. Although I think this is cool. I love to use the text uh, window as a way of displaying data. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, let's make it go faster. Hold on a second. I'm going to make this, I think it's going to work perfectly now. Let's go with 20. Okay, so remember, that line right there is our 255. Clearly, the raw data is way over 255, and it's not useful for us to put that number directly into, um, for example, a, a fading light or a PWM. We can't use it. But watch what happens as I move my flashlight closer. Okay? They're both going down. Now, this right here is the very first point where we would actually be getting some change in our motor speed. We've dropped below the 255, okay? And then this is scaling down incrementally. This, is, this one is dropping quickly. This one is dropping more slowly. But they're related. The gap gets closer when it gets down here and larger here. And if I put my finger on it, bring it out, see? Nope, we go off scale there. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's make this a tighter. I like this, but let's make it a tighter graph just for fun because I want to. Let's divide it all by mm, 10. It's going to give us a funny thing here because we're going to round it out, but that's okay. Let's divide everything by 10. There, now we got a window we can actually deal with, and you can see it here. I'm going to make it so it fits all the way, if I can. No, we can't quite, there we go. Well, pretty close. Okay, so you see how this line, that's your 255, how the mapping function makes sure that your output data always fits in the parameter you defined and it never allows it to exceed. Okay? So hopefully that adds a little clarity. If not, I hope you're at least impressed with my cool graph. Okay? And we will move on right after this and I'll see you soon.